I will be heading to September 12th, to Washington on September 12th. To protest with the government in general. I mean, the sign says it all. They are completely crashing our economy. Nowhere in the Constitution does it say anything about health care. It, it talks about they protect us. It does not give them the right to have any control over And that is exactly what they're trying to do. Massachusetts can do health care right, and I'm from Massachusetts, with our system, then there's no reason why the country can't do the same thing, and I love Massachusetts health care system. It's broke. That's it. No, it's not. It works great, and I use it. subsidized by the federal government. You're broke. Thank you. With the system off. Yeah, we're angry. We're angry, angry mobs. That's all I can tell you. From what town? We're from New Hampshire. I'm also a firm believer in healthcare now. Right. Marcus from Portsmouth. And the reason why I got the signs on for this sign here, for example. That's good. And this one. That makes our good well. I can that's a Excellent. This is really hopefully uh, maybe get people to think outside the box and realize what's really going on. Um, I think most people don't know that when the country was founded, there was over a million people, and 3,000 people voted to basically take control over the rest of the population. Uh, the country was really made without government, and the people who went to the best schools came over here and said we need government because that's what they've been taught. And so, the bottom line is um, our history is to to be independent, to live free, to accept personal responsibility, but have that freedom. As long as you're not initiating physical force and or fraud against anyone else, then you haven't committed a crime. And that's really the only law you need. Okay, uh, my reason for making up a sign that's somewhat different than the other ones that you see here is because I truly believe that what's running the wheel of all of this dissension is the fact that he's a black guy that's, been, that's got an enormous power right now. And Folks are not ready for that. So it wouldn't matter what type of uh, forum he's trying to push through. It's the fact that they want to destroy President Obama. And so the, the issue, is, along with it being the health care issue, there are so many underlying issues there. And that's why I'm here today, because I saw, I'm a native of forces. I was born and raised here, and I've seen a lot of changes in this city. And there's as much bigotry and, and racism in this city. I mean, since he's taken office, there's been more racism uh, that has reared its ugly head than, than I've ever seen in my lifetime. And I think it's a shame, and it's time for, for it to go away. I don't think it's going to go away. What I'm saying basically is that you're talking about racial profiling. I've lived racial profiling. Racial profiling is a black-white issue. It's not about some some white guy that, that feels that he's got a problem because I'm here. You've always had a problem because I'm here, or the, the, the people, not you, per se, but whites who have a 
have this sense of a problem with me, have a problem with me because of the color I am. And I think that is still living its, its way out in, in our president. And it's not going to, you know, my father said years ago, he said, you know, you can't change what they hear. The laws can change what the reaction, how people are going to react to it. But the hatred is still going to live on. And that's basically what's that. We've got a black president running the country, and there are a lot of unhappy people about that. because they've always been the ones to protest and the ones to, to you know, be anti-government, anti-control. And all of a sudden, our young people are like sheep. It's unbelievable. I'm disappointed as an educator, I'm a teacher, and I'm disappointed in our young people that they're, they're not out here. All, it's all the senior citizens are out here protesting. It's, it's, it's a disappointing. I want to see the young people start to wake up and get involved and know what's going on and stop being such sheep. You look like a young person to me. I'm not. I'm in my 40s, that's all I'll say.